Um, so if we want to go ahead and find the inverse of this function, we have y equals 3x minus 5 divided by um, 2x plus 1. And again, we also want to talk about domain and range, right? So if we're talking about domain, is it possible to divide by a negative number? Yes. So we've got to set our denominator equal to 0. Right? So my domain is all real numbers except for the number negative 1 half. Because when x equals negative 1 half, my denominator is 0. So my domain, I would write as negative infinity to negative 1 half union negative 1 half to infinity. Again, writing the domain and range should be something to start quick in there. That's why we're practicing this a lot, over and over and over again. You could also say all real numbers except for x cannot equal negative 1 half. But again, this is the notation I'm expecting you guys to use. OK, um, so now we go ahead and find our steps. First step, replacing f of x with y. That's already taken care of. So now we just need to find y inverse. Um, so we swap the x and the y's. Step two. OK, the reason why I showed this problem over here is I wanted you guys to remember, whenever you have a variable in the denominator, you cannot solve for that variable. You have to get that variable off the denominator. So what I'm going to do to get this 2y, or this y off the denominator, is I'm going to multiply by 2y plus 1 on the top and the bottom on both sides. And whatever you do on one side, as long as you do on the other side, you're not changing the problem, right? So now this divides to 1. And now I have, um, I can distribute, apply distributive property here. So therefore, now I have 2yx plus x equals 3y minus 5. OK, let me actually give you another problem. In Algebra 1, do you guys remember what you did when you had variables on the left and the right side? To solve for x, you had to do what? Get the variable on the same side, right? You can't solve for x when you have x on both sides. Look at here. We're trying to solve for what? y. We need to get the y's on the same side, correct? We need to get the y's on the same side. So what I'll do is I'll subtract the 3y, and I'll get this x to the other side. So now I'm left with 2yx um, minus 3y equals uh, negative 5 minus x. All right, I have two y's though. They're on the same side. My issue is, how do I get rid? How do I solve for the y though? Because I can't combine them. Like here, when you get the x's on the same side, this is nice because what? 3x minus x, 3x minus 2x. Those are like terms, so you can combine those. These are not like terms. So I can't combine them. So the one thing I can do, though, is factor out the y. By factoring out the y, I now isolate the variable y. And now I can solve for y by dividing by 2x minus 3. So therefore, my final equation, y inverse, is equal to I'll write the x in front, negative x minus 5 all over 2x minus 3. Now again, we're still wanting to find the domain and range of my original function, right? So I need to find the domain of here. So can I divide by a negative number? Can I, I'm sorry, can I divide by 0? Yes, what values can I divide by 0? Well, let's set our denominator equal to 0. And when x equals 3 halves, my denominator is equal to 0. So I'd say my domain is negative infinity to 3 halves union 3 halves to infinity. So guess what my range is? My range has to be the exact same as my domain for my inverse. And there you go. It's a long problem. It's a lot of steps. But it's a good problem. Because it doesn't cover anything you guys haven't learned before. It just covers.